behold the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka! The following contest is a submission match. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! She is hypnotic, she is mesmerizing, she is as dangerous as the day is long. Now you are looking at a woman who single-handedly managed to change the entire complexion of the Raw Women's Division. Lived up to the hype, surpassed the expectations. An undefeated run in NXT. NXT Women's Champion. A title she relinquished willingly to head to Monday Night Raw. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. Another time, P. Here we go, Corey. It's submission match time. Which means there will be no countouts, no disqualifications, and no pinfalls. The only way to win this match will be to make your opponent submit. This is it, guys. The submission match we've been waiting for. Oh, no. This isn't going to end well. Reconstructing the knee there. Asuka's so incredibly dangerous. She's starting to fight out, guys. No! She breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Drop down. What a strike. What a stomp. Good grief. The WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match at 2016's Extreme Rules event. The Queen, Charlotte Flair, defended her women's championship against Natalya. But one thing I thought was unfair about the match is that there was a ban against the Nature Boy Ric Flair being at ringside. If Flair appeared, Charlotte would lose the match and her women's crown. Before you spoke of the submission match between Charlotte Flair and Natalya, and I need to point out that this match was not Flair's figure eight versus Natalya's sharpshooter. Victory could be achieved by making your opponent tap out to any submission maneuver. I think we all know why the Nature Boy was banned from ringside. When Natalya had Charlotte locked in the sharpshooter, it seemed that the Queen of Hearts was going to be crowned the new champion. Of course, that was until Dana Brooke distracted Daddy, giving Charlotte... Looking at it here! She's starting to falter here. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of 
is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. Oscar's so incredibly dangerous. I don't think this is going to do it. Asuka is trying to get in her opponent's head. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as submission match to be able to reverse the submission move from an opponent as it is to apply a submission maneuver to an opponent. If a superstar can't reverse an opponent's submission, then they're certainly going to be in trouble. Some superstars have more than one submission at their disposal and it becomes a pick-your-poison scenario for their opponent. It also depends on the match. Some submission matches are based on winning via a submission move. She might have it. When we talk about submission matches, we have to... Oh, what impact. What a comeback. She's looking at it. Byron, you mentioned the submission match between Bret Hart and Steve Austin at WrestleMania 13. The rivalry between the Hitman and Stone Cold was so intense that WWE had no choice but to appoint mixed martial arts champion Ken Shit. No, she gets out of it. But she's still struggling, Cole. The end might just be near. Oh, and she's dropped there. Yeah, she might be done here. And it's Asuka making a move. She's starting to fight out, guys. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Beautiful technique. Guys, I think Asuka is a rare competitor. To... Oh, this one's all but over. It's locked in. The Asuka lock. Uh-oh. This one is over. This is Asuka's chance. What a way to win a singles match. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. And so it goes. Here is your winner.